That's a lot of nuts! Twitch.tv is by and large the most popular platform on the internet for people to stream video games. They also allow you to live stream basically anything you want to, whether that be art or the entirety of your naked body. YouTube, on the other hand, is another competitor that allows you to live stream on their platform in addition to watching videos like you're doing right now. But YouTube doesn't have these similar issues with people exposing the entirety of their naked bodies to a audience of live viewers because they have stricter rules about setting content like that to only be viewable by audiences that are logged in and have proven that they're over the age of 18. For whatever reason, Twitch continues to be plagued with live streams of this nature because the moderation team, or even Twitch themselves, continues to just whack a mole down problems as they come up rather than putting an entire blanket cover on what is allowed in terms of sexuality and nudity on their live streaming platform. As a result, this has just led into a cat and mouse chase where Twitch will ban one additional aspect of how these streamers have been revealing their bodies, only for them to pop back up with a new, slightly more innovative way to reveal themselves while barely playing video games. And at this point, it's damn near impressive. Hey, map. I'm rusty. And with a little rusties. Yo, playing Fortnite. Yes, indeed. That is frankly incredible. Now she says she's playing Fortnite, but I really feel like she's burying the lead a little bit. If you asked me 10 years ago, Sumeto, what do you think is going to be the greatest innovation in gaming technology? And I would have told you it's gonna be when they figure out how to make Laura Croft's boobs not look like the top of a pyramid. But I never could have fathomed that it would actually be the point where Twitch streamers are green screaming the game they're playing onto their own ass cheeks. It's Genius! Brain surgery. Broadcasting the video game that you're playing onto your tits or your ass as a titty or ass streamer like Morgpie here is a genius move and I cannot emphasize that enough. Because everybody knows the hardest thing when you're watching a titty stream like this, other than your member, is picking between whether or not you're supposed to be some sort of degenerate commenting on the body that is being displayed in front of you, or if you're supposed to talk about the sick gameplay that probably isn't happening. Well, now you don't need to pick between the two. You can enjoy the entirety of the depravity that you clicked on while having a perfectly reasonable excuse should anybody walk in the room with you, which is that you were enjoying the Fortnite gameplay. It's like you're at the beach and you get stung right on your face by a jellyfish. Are you gonna feel bad for running up to the hot goth lifeguard and asking her to urinate on your face? In a normal situation, yeah, you'd be an absolute degenerate. But in this situation, you have a perfectly reasonable reason. Perfect excuse for you to enjoy the depravity in being urinated on because... Fortnite! Does that make sense? It's the best of both worlds, like a double feature film where you get to see Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties, and a Serbian film. All the emotions, at the same time! Over the course of time, I have made many videos in my six something years as a YouTuber talking about the number of different Twitch streamers that have gotten banned and pushed the limits of what is allowed on live streaming platforms. And honestly, over this course of time, I've somehow grown a tremendous amount of respect for these content creators. Because Twitch continues to, instead of just outright banning nudity and sexuality in their live streams, and instead makes these hyper-specific changes to only deal with one specific ongoing niche of streams, it's only up to the creators to continue to push the boundaries by skirting around these very narrow rules and do something different. Oh, you can't just have your rear end pointed to the camera? Well, what if I just have a mirror behind me while I'm dressed in a bikini and using a shake weight? I mean, I wouldn't say you need a college degree to come up with that plan, but I still want to use the word genius. Probably because it rhymes with penis. Just straight jorking my penis. Haters are gonna hate, birds are gonna fly, and smut peddlers are gonna peddle smut. 
At the end of the day, the only reason any of this is happening is because OnlyFans creators continue to use Twitch as a platform to advertise their OnlyFans. At the end of the day, women don't really like being objectified on a live streaming platform by tens of thousands of anonymous users online unless they're getting paid to do it. The fact that these content creators continue to get away with things like wearing bikinis while sitting in their living room or being completely topless while playing video games only for Twitch to come in and only make rules that are now addressing the attire or the trend of pretending to be topless. If you're not gonna outright ban the ability to advertise in OnlyFans and use your Twitch to do so, you're gonna continue to get these issues regardless of how many ideas you knock down. It's like you're a principal at a school and there's this one kid, Timmy, and somebody punches Timmy in the face and you make a rule that says, hey, guys, no more punching Timmy in the face. Are you gonna be surprised when he gets kicked in the balls the next day? Or they start beating him over the head with a steel chair? No, because your rule was too specific. You gotta tell him not to attack Timmy whatsoever. Keep the kids safe. Why are you banning the one thing that happened? Let's be fair. Call a spade a spade, okay? I am enamored at the amount of innovative ways that these content creators have skirted around the rules on Twitch, but it's not like every single way in which these content creators are showing off their body is some magnificent work of art or some MacGyvering of the rules, okay? Some of them are just stupid. For instance, the topless meta, I mean, there wasn't a lot of thinking there, was it? Hey, what if I just get naked on stream and then don't show the parts that'll get me banned? This resulted in getting a lot of people banned. Because Twitch continued to refuse to make rules that said that you couldn't make content that was inherently sexual or designed only to show off nudity or something nudity adjacent, everybody would just take the words for exactly as they were written. They say that you cannot show any genitalia or areola, so what do people do? They get completely naked and make sure to cover up exactly and only the genitalia and the areola. Somehow, it seems as though if you decide to make a rule as vague as it could possibly be while still aiming to have the same intended effect, it doesn't end up having the same intended effect. That being said, Twitch is in a weird situation because they can't just tell you not to be sexy. You can't just tell women to cover up it's Ramadan after all, get those titties off my screen. No, if they wanna have cleavage or if they wanna show off their bodies, that should be allowed, but you have to stop it at a point where it starts to get problematic for everybody else on the website. For instance, nothing wrong with wearing a bikini, shoving your Logitech C920 so far up your ass crack that I can see what you had for dinner, slightly more problematic. This image is from Twitch streamer slash OnlyFans creator, Strawberry Tabby during a stream on Twitch in which she was evidently playing Valorant with two different cameras, how lovely of her, one of which was stuck straight up her backside. Now, for whatever reason, this is completely fine, and actually, according to Twitch's attire policy, she is fully clothed, covering up what she needs to, it's just that the camera certainly is pointed, making really damn sure that she's covering up what she needs to. She was subsequently banned in the middle of the stream, or after the stream, from what I can only assume is the camera slipping a little far to the side and her viewers not being certified colonoscopists. This is gonna sound like the most degenerate thing I've ever said, but I can actually deduce from the fact that she's wearing a different bikini in the screen grab that not only was she only banned for one day because of this behavior, but as soon as she got her account back, she just continued to do the same thing, which goes to prove my thesis with this whole thing, which is that because of this symbiotic relationship between Twitch banning individuals and making giant sweeping rule changing events that have drawn every streamer and online content creators attention when these things happen it's actually beneficial to every single one of these content creators to skirt the lines break the rules get the attention of Twitch to make them make a change because then their name becomes the headline of Twitch. Think about it, if any one of these individuals, Strawberry Tabby, Indie Fox, Amaranth, uh, Morg Pie, if any of these guys just continued with their normal streaming without getting banned a single time, none of us would have any clue who they are. I know you're currently typing Sumeto. I already didn't know who any of them were. Shut the fuck up. I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching this and thinking, yes, yeah, Sumet, no shit. Are you really just now realizing that that's what's going on? And I gotta admit, 
A little bit. I mean, I always understood that getting banned on Twitch when you were one of the biggest streamers on the platform is generally not that big of a deal. I was always under the impression that people were keeping notes and getting more and more mad at Amaranth or Indie Fox or that girl who was screaming to have an extra $5 a month for all of her subs. But in reality, no, it's just a game of how innovatively you can get banned. It's like Miley Cyrus coming out with her, you know, Wrecking Ball music video. How out of pocket can you be to garner the attention of as many people as possible? And at this point, honestly, I'm tired of trying to be a big stickler about it. If this is what Twitch is gonna allow to continue to happen, my job isn't to police it and enforce it. My job is just to sit back and laugh at the whole thing, which is where I'd like to present to you guys my idea for our subscriber name. This community, I think, should be called the Hyenas. I understand it sounds a little bit like a high school mascot, but think about it. We get to just be a bunch of big wild cats one big pack just laughing at shit maniacally? Google tells me that a pack of hyenas is actually referred to as a clan, but also colloquially can be referred to as a cackle. We can be a cackle of hyenas, cackling at memes. I think it works out perfectly. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and let me remind you guys of my favorite example of skirting the rules when it comes to Twitch live streaming, being back in 2022 when VTubers were playing Splatoon and they green screened the enemy color and then played a porn video in the back of it so that if they were losing the game, they would actually come closer to having their account banned. Let's be fair, stupid as this all may be, it sure is kind of funny at the end of the day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.